Baby, if this ashwagandha don't hurry up and kick in. few hours it'll be the day um i'm really really tired and my voice is starting to get a little scratchy i don't know what that's about <clears throat> it might be my allergies i don't know i just took a shower and washed my face um super dry um i'm just gonna go ahead and start getting myself situated and relaxed because my nerves are a little bit on edge right now so um i'm about to just get myself ready I ain't got to be in no rush come time for me to leave. My flight board's at 5.30 in the morning, and it's supposed to take off at 6, I guess. So I'm going to go to the airport here in Atlanta um, and try to get there by 3, um, or maybe a little bit before. But I'm definitely going to be there by 3 a.m. Um, this is my very first flight. Very first flight. So my nerves have been on edge since I woke up this morning. So um, I'm about to just, like I said, get ready and chill. My friend will be here momentarily to watch a Gypsy. And then I'm gonna head out. So here's a little montage. <laughs> I don't know how cold it is on the plane, but I'm bringing my little jacket to put on too. So I'm not gonna wear any jewelry just because I don't I don't know what to expect. Now I just wanna have the least amount of things to have to take off. I'm debating if I'm gonna keep these contacts in. I kind of feel like it's better to put. I'm just gonna put them because if I leave these contacts in and they start irritating me, it's gonna be a damn problem. I'm gonna wash my hands. Take them out for now. I'll put them back in later. I'm gonna clean my glasses real good. And put them back baby on. They good and greasy too. Y'all ever use um, antibacterial soap to clean your glasses? You should. You don't have to do it all the time, but. Once you notice that they start to collect a lot of grease and they just not staying clean. It's time to go on and wash them, wash them. Depending on the type of glasses you can grab. I was gonna wear my bonnet, but I I I ain't want the backlash. Not that I really care, but I kinda care. So I'm gonna wear a lock sock. Hopefully that don't pose a problem. Hopefully it stay on because sometimes it don't like slide off. And if this end up being in the way, I'll just take it off and just suck it up, whatever. See it's sliding already. 
Yeah, never mind. Because, I mean, why? Just why? Just why are you even doing that? I'm going to just simplify it and put this back on because, I mean, whatever. Um, 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 I'm about to just chill and take some, um, I need a cocktail, truth be told, but I don't want, I don't want to drink that right now because then I'll have to pee and I ain't trying to do a whole lot of that. So, but I am going to take some, um, I am, come on shirt. I am going to take some, um, ashwagandha to try to help calm my nerves and um relax and then i'll be back when it's about that time for me to hit up all right it's time y'all and i'm about to head to the airport juicy and looking sad I'm looking sad. I'm nervous. <sighs> but I don't pray and I'm I'm trying to just let God have it. Everything is fine. It's fine. It's just, everything is okay. There's no need to think the words. There's no need to overthink. It's just a flight. It's fine. It's more dangerous driving in a car. So they say. Um, um, I'm trying to make myself the Lulu, <laughs> but all right, let's head out. I got so much to tell y'all. I have so much to tell y'all. <sighs> and I'm on my way to baggage claim. They go claim my stuff and get the hell out of here. I'm so, my mouth so dry. My breath smell like yakety yak. Don't talk back. But I'm on the way. Hold tight.
Good afternoon. We have made it to Miami. And already they done pissed me off. Hands ashy. Dry. I just wash my hands, that's why. Um so okay. I'm here in, in Miami. I keep wanting to say Atlanta. I am here in Miami. I am staying at the East um hotel in Brickle, I think it's called, um, part of the city. And as I mentioned so many times before, this was also my very first time flying ever. Okay. And let me tell you, it was definitely an experience. Okay. So I mean, where the fuck should I really even start? Like, <laughs> cause we last night I didn't get any rest. And if you can't already tell, I am exhausted. But I said, let me go ahead and make this video since I'm here now. It's still daylight. Um, I don't know what time it is right now. I think it's like probably one something now. I did not go to sleep last night because for one, I was too anxious. I was, my nerves had been on edge. And for two, um, as I also mentioned before, my Facebook page was hacked and I had been trying to get that resolved for a number of days, which I succeeded at. Finally, last night, um, was slash early this morning, like around one, one something, I managed to work with Facebook team, shout out to them and gain control of my Facebook page back. So I'm Gucci on that. After I got everything situated with the whole Facebook thing, <clears throat> I was like, you know what? I need to go on and just get to the airport um, because they, the airline kept saying to plan ahead because of the advisory for spring breakers and all that little, little stuff. Um, and so I said, you know, I'm just, I'd rather be there too early than too late. So I went ahead and uh, requested a lift Lyft came and got me at about 2.30. No, I'm lying. They got there at like 2.15-ish. And then got to the airport at like 2.30. Went through the doors and um, I'm kind of just like taking it all in because I had been to the airport like picking up family and friends or dropping off family and friends, but I myself had never been in inside of it you know so of uh, the terminal so i'm you know kind of looking around trying to see where i'm at but i did go through the southwest door you know to make it i thought about that my dog to make it easier right so realized that they weren't going to be open for another two hours so we all just standing there waiting with nowhere to sit, no nothing. You lose your spot. And it, it was about six people when I got there waiting. Um, and then it was this couple there and I was asking them questions, telling them, you know, I'm not familiar with the process of flying. You mind answering, you know, a question or two for me or whatever. But they were really nice, very patient and understanding um, for uh, with me. So anyway, fast forward, I was also nervous about whether or not my luggage was going to way too much but it hit right on the head at 50 pounds and when i tell you i had been wrecking my brain and my niece brain trying to figure out how i can maneuver what i packed and i'm still gonna have to make sure i remember what i packed and what so that i don't and i brought my scale with me so that i don't make a mistake right speaking of luggage i know that i bought a pack of two um locks and i put a lock um on my luggage itself and i put a lock on my book bag where all my electronics is uh, were right uh all of a sudden i'm noticing now my, the lock on my suitcase is gone for what and i'm glad i didn't put nothing of high value in my suitcase. I kept everything on my person because you couldn't even get no drawers out of there. It wasn't nothing but my clothes and my and a couple of little Shein purses and 
some straw hats from Walmart, child, some sun hats. So if if you did open my suitcase, which I imagine you probably did, whoever you are in the, in the world, I'm sure you were very disappointed. Anyway, going through after after checking it, well, I checked it on, on the app and I thought I could use a kiosk, but it just seemed like it was a tedious process for everybody. So I just stayed in line. Luckily, the clerk that I had was nice. So she said to me, she was like, I don't mean to offend you or nothing like that. But um, would do you feel as though you would need a more comfortable seat? And I said, well, yeah, but I'm kind. What you mean by that? You know, what what would that um, look like? And so basically, she was gonna give me uh, a complimentary second seat without me having to pay for it, so that way I could have more space and you know whatever. And she was explaining to me how to use the little ticket that she gave me and how to put it in the seat next to me so that nobody can, they'll know that it's reserved and it, I, it's my seat, right? Well, that ended up being pointless, pointless because just my look, my flight was sold out. Actually, they oversold the flight. But I'm glad I did still check in early because I was a part of, Southwest doesn't do um, assigned seating anymore. So they it's kind of like a first come, first serve in a sense. First come, first like first check in, first served. So I managed to check in as soon as it was available online, and I got a part of the A group, which meant I got to board first, right? So um, I was like, okay, I'm Gucci. You know, I get first deals. I know that I wanted to at least get a window seat so that I can, you know, get the full experience of flying and also get some good content. Um, that was an epic fail because i came in i sat down um at a window seat and i was like oh this is pretty spacious but then i looked to my left and i realized oh this a um this a exit door yeah no i'm gonna move so i moved in the row in front of me which was way more snug in that row but i made it work and i sat down but i was telling the that's when i discovered the whole seat belt thing and i was telling the just the guy um flight attendant that or asked if they had the extension because I needed one and so he was like yeah I could get you one he said but if, if you if you want you could sit also in the back where you were because it, you'll have more ro uh, room for your legs and stuff like that and you won't be so cramped I said well, I'm a little nervous about sitting by this door but okay you know I'll do it I said just don't forget to get me the suitcase I mean the seatbelt thing he said oh I won't forget I got you that was that exchange right so then fast forward with this nice little white couple came and sat by me and we were conversing and stuff like that. And they was helping me keep by this time the flight attendant brought me the extended extender for the seatbelt. And the the husband of the lady sitting next to me um, was trying to help me figure out like how to clamp it together or whatever, right? And so by this time we all strapped in, we chilling, we waiting on the, the flight to start, you know, the, to we waiting on the plane to, to pull out. I see the plane backing up. I'm looking out the window. I'm giddy. I'm getting ready to, you know, record some content or whatever. And then they start doing their whole little speech about, you know, preparing everybody for the flight, all the rules and all the stuff. And then one of the flight attendants walked past and she looked at me and she looked at my lap and she was like, mm, mm, and then walked off and went back to the front. So me and the other two people sitting next to me was looking like, well, what was that about? Like, you know. So they looking at my seatbelt like, you got it on right, right? And I was like, yeah. So none, none of us saw the issue until they came back. She came back with another lady and was like, you we're going to have to move you. And I said, why? Like, what's wrong? So they stopped the plane. And she, so the lady going to lean in. She's like, try, as if to not try to embarrass me by saying it out loud or, or loud in general. Um, you have a seatbelt extender. And I said, excuse me? Like, what? okay, what, huh? You have on a seatbelt extender. I said, okay. And she was like, um, you're by the exit door. What What does that mean? What are you saying? Well, I've got an extender and I'm by the exit door. What does that mean? I, I've never flown before. What does that mean? So I guess they felt like that's a hazard or it's, a, I don't know, that basically that we don't want a person of your size to be by this door for safety reasons or whatever they they were very strange about it and very um awkward and they, they explained it poorly i had to kind of help piece it together basically so now i'm embarrassed anyway because 
you don't make me stand up and make you don't have to tell some other random customer or, or uh, passenger to get up out his seat and swap with me. So now I no longer have the window seat. Just for you to put me rows ahead of where I were, where I was, and put me in the middle seat, still had to do the extender, and then it's a it's no it's no window on the row I'm on. So they jacked up my experience with that. Um. So then the takeoff ensues and I'm trying to wrap my mind around what the heck I signed up for, but it's now another baby. And it's like this year I'm all about taking risk and crossing things off my list that I keep saying I want to do. So I, I went for it. Right. And I will say that the flight itself wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it still was a nerve wracking because the turbulence wasn't the worst, but it was still a little frightening because why is we even shaking, right? Slow this motherfucker down. And then um, hearing like the engine and hearing like all of that stuff going on outside, like it was much. And then the the speed it was going to, to lift off, to take off. And then once it got up in the air and how fast we was going yeah i almost shit my pants yep because that just was not it it just wasn't anything i could have mentally prepared for it's just one of the things you just have to experience i guess but anyway by the grace of god and i prayed the whole way baby i made it and i landed in fort lauderdale now prior to me um board my flight i was trying to obtain a round trip ticket by way of the bright line train so that way i can use that as my mode of transportation from the airport to miami and then from miami back you know whenever i leave but the website wasn't working when i kept trying numerous times and then um when it did work it was like a hundred plus some dollars plus an extra twenty dollars because i'm carrying luggage and i'm just like all this time i never heard nobody on tiktok say oh but keep in mind they're gonna charge you for luggage i never heard that i just thought it was a train that you could just hop on almost like a martyr or something hop on and get to the next destination and keep it pushing but no it's not not quite so i ended up just paying for a lift because it was a fraction of that cost Still expensive, but still a fraction of that cost. So then, um, took the took the lift to Miami to my directly to my hotel. Um, the first, first that was my second lift driver because the first one that I requested he canceled on me. Okay, then we'll fight the traffic. And when I tell you these people in Miami and these people in Fort Lauderdale and Miami cannot drive. And I thought the driving in Atlanta was bad. It, and my and my Lyft driver, he was he was doing it. He was an older man named Lewis. He was he was getting up, but he was also scaring me because you driving just like them, and then you complaining about them. Whatever. I get. So my flight was at. We boarded at five thirty. The takeoff was at six. We were about maybe two or three minutes delayed, but whatever. Get to um, Fort Lauderdale at. 8 o'clock a.m. Mind you, I left the house at 2.30. Okay? I ain't get no sleep. Okay? So, when I get here, I got here, must have been 9, 9 something, going on 10. And they didn't have no room available. Now, I don't work in hospitality. I don't work for Marriott for a number of years. And I know how housekeeping goes. So, I, I, it's hard to really grasp the understanding that y'all don't have not one room ready, right? And that was until she said, well, we do have this room. It's very much like the one you have, except this one is a little bigger and it also has a tub. And I wanted a one with a tub, but it wasn't going to make or break the experience. And so, she was like, um, I can give it to you for an incredible discount and I'll give you the total amount. So I'm like, okay, incredible discount, okay, cool. And this this broad gonna say, um, it'll be an extra 500 some dollars. 
who finna pay that? Not I, said the cat. So, I just ended up having to wait. So much so that I'm in pain. My stomach hurt. My back hurt. I'm just, I'm falling asleep. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. Not to mention, I did have a shot of Jameson because my nerves was rattled. And I was trying to calm my nerves. And prior, sometime prior to that, before I ever took the drink, I had some actual vomit. So, y'all, I'm tired, right? So, I had to wait. Saying the middle of me waiting, they said that they could hold my luggage for me. Cool. Now, I don't know between them or Southwest who took my the lock off my luggage. But okay. They had a restaurant upstairs. Well, down well, downstairs from where I'm at, but upstairs from the lobby. And it said compliment it said uh continental breakfast. Most hotels when they offer continental breakfast, and that's nothing but some fruit, some yogurt, a bunch of types of bread, pastries, bagels, toast, raisins, dried cranberries, all that. Um, and you may have some scrambled eggs, you may have some bacon, you know, whatever. But no, them, I ended up paying $50 for a peach bellini drink. The peach bellini was good though. A peach bellini drink and the what I thought was complimentary the continental breakfast and what's crazy is I asked her I said so all of this is self-serve this is just you know like a complimentary breakfast and maybe she didn't catch me say complimentary but she very much said yes so once the bill came I was floored because what is going on so um she then, I ain't, mind you, I ain't cut up or nothing. I said, well, I said, I wasn't expecting to pay for a continental breakfast. I thought that it was complimentary to the stay. So then she was like, oh, I'm not sure. And da, 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 da. I said, okay, well, now nah, I'm trying to call the front desk and they just not answering the phone now. Like, what is that about? So, um, sorry, I got to come up this bra because I am so tired. And... <clears throat> I'm trying to muster up the strength to go take me a shower, but it looks like I'm about to just lay the fuck down. So anyway, um, <clears throat> I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. Meanwhile, I'm sitting in a restaurant waiting to get a call. I mean, get somebody on the phone. Nobody answered the phone. They can't figure it out because they didn't have my room ready. So I don't have a room number for y'all to see the details on my stay or to even try to charge it to my card. So I just said, it's all right, I'll charge it. I said, but if I go to that day and they tell me what's complimentary, I'm gonna get my refund. So fast forward another couple of hours, I said, well, I'm gonna take advantage of this time and just gonna get some content, which is what I was work, working on of what I could get to, right? And then I waited and waited and waited some more and waited some more. And I'm like, literally like nodding out, my back hurt. Like I'm exhausted. like. And I'm like, I need y'all. I'm just praying, like, God, please. I need a room because in a minute I'm finna lay on these people's bench and snow like a grizzly bear. So luckily, after a couple hours or an hour and some change, they found me a room, which is why I'm in now. So, um, I came in the room recorded the room I sanitized the room every part that I can reach um for the most part we could go and um I haven't just I haven't decided what I'm doing this evening or how long I'm gonna take this nap for because it just really depends on how my body feels I thought I was gonna be able to seize the day I, I did go out by the pool I didn't get in the pool. I don't really care for the pool. I might put my feet in. I'm not sure. But uh, I wasn't even dressed to be getting in no pool. Um, I got some of that content. And then... Oh, pretty much it. So, it's also... Oh, it's also attached to the Brickle Center. City Center or whatever it's called. Uh, it's like a shopping mall, if you will. So, I got a snippet of that. So... Once I put it together, I I 
am confident I can make it all make sense. I am about to take a nap. I don't even think I had the energy to stand up in that shower. Like, I'm about to KO. Um, and then my cyclone, so that's another thing. But I'm not, like, flowing, flowing, but I do have the discomfort. And so I didn't bring my heating pad. My back hurt. It's whatever. So I'm going to take me a nap real quick. Then I'm going to get up, take me a shower, figure out the mood for the night, and get in the wind. Um, I'm, I'm no doubt I'll be going somewhere to get dinner and figure all that out from there. Um, I have a list of, th like, uh, an unofficial itinerary, if you will, of things that I want, I was interested in doing. But um, I didn't really organize them or whatever to determine how all that was gonna flow. I feel like it's something else I need to tell y'all, but I, if child, if I think of it later, I will. I'll call you back and let you know. In the meantime, hold tight. I'll be back. Hola, it's Jacia, and baby, we here. We made it with my cruddy face. Child, I just woke up from a much, much needed nap. Um, talked to my family, and now, um, it's like eight something. I think it's eight o'clock on the dot. Yeah. So I slept for about a good four hours, I think. I was not trying to sleep that long, but whatever, we're gonna roll with it. Um and talk to my family, like I said, and then um was trying to figure out where I was gonna go to get something to eat. Um tried the restaurant upstairs. Play on my top big time. Hold on, let me go get my tripod so I ain't got to hold y'all. Hold on. I'm finna go see if I want to eat at Talking Tacos. It's uh, about a five minute walk, it says. Um, and then I'll do like, you know, see what's on the strip that I'm on. And if I don't end up wanting to eat there, then I'll go somewhere else, hopefully in walking distance. And then tomorrow, we're definitely going to maximize on the day because we're in Miami and I want to have fun. I want to explore, you know. So I'm about to hit this shower because your girl smelling like oh 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 yeah p u so let me do that and i'll be back supposed to get down to the 60s so I'm just throwing on this little two-piece number I was gonna put on the uh the other one that I had that I showed y'all before but that zipper was giving me the blues and it's already getting late so 
I'm gonna um, make it do what it do. Let's see if I can. They don't have a long left mirror in my room for me to show you the full outfit in this way, but if I can find somewhere to take pictures and all that jazz, then I'll let y'all see. Even though y'all have already seen this outfit, if you watched my um my haul, my fashion haul that I posted. For the Miami trip, this was one of the outfits that I tried on that I said I was gonna bring. So let's see how we strut in this town, baby. I really wish I could have cut the sleeves or something, but that's the best I can do right now. But Hopefully this food is good. Cause I've been hearing mixed reviews about the food in Miami. And um hopefully they got like some drink specials because I need a drink. I don't need it, but I want it. Therefore I need it. <laughs> so and I meant to take this off before it marked my head, but whatever. <sighs> Get in sweet. Hold on. Get into her. Um, let me brush my edges just a little bit and then I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Uh, oh, I'm gonna put my accessories on too. Should I leave it down? Or. in a pony. Put it in a pony. I'm gonna wear the silver accessories with this because it's on the option. these earrings. Let's see if it'll look stupid, shall we? Let's see. Let's put on some rings. I like it. I like it a lot. I saw this older white lady who had her she had stacks on. I love a good jewelry stack without it looking cheesy. What's it giving? I know you can't see the full outfit, but let me take y'all down and see. What's it giving? It's giving auntie on vacation. Is it giving auntie on vacation? Or auntie going to the poker hall? <laughs> okay. All right. Let's head out. Baby, I'll be over there. They tried me at the airport.
we're back. I'm gonna turn this light on. So, I just had dinner at the taco place. Talking tacos. And I got the blue lemonade. Delish. I was debating on since the airport threw my um kibasi away. It's a liquor store up the street. And I was debating on whether or not I was gonna walk up there and make myself a little cocktail. But I kinda don't feel like going back out the door. So we'll just make it a dry night. Cause that place didn't serve alcohol. I don't have to have it, but I just kind of wanted one. And what's crazy also is, so I made like a hotel friend, I guess you could say. Um, her name is Tyler. She's here for a convention that they're having at the hotel. And um, we ended up on the same elevator coming down. She had complimented my, she had complimented my hair and or was it wasn't my outfit i think it was my hair and she also had locks too and so we parted ways or whatever i didn't see where she had went so i just you know was walking or whatever to up the street it was like a th maybe like a three four minute walk up the road no more than five and um when i came inside i saw she was in there I said, well, had I known you would come here, we could have walked together. She was like, you know, I just realized um, you came here too or whatever, whatever. So we just started talking and whatever. And um, I was sharing with her, which is not what I would have typically done. But I was just talking to her and telling her, you know, this was my first time. Well, she asked me if it was my first time being in Miami and, you know, whatever. So we just kind of sparked conversation about how, you know, this was like a bucket list trip for me and whatever. And so she offered to pay for my dinner. Which, which uh, was nice of her. I just ordered some tacos. And then she had ordered some um, guacamole and stuff like that. And then I had got um, one of these. I ended up going back to get another one of these. It was pretty good. They also had a mango drink. And they had a strawberry lemonade. But I just was drawn to this. But I'm going to go back. I think I'm going to end up going back there before, before the end of my trip. To get another one. And make it a little arrival dial one. Um, I make it three. I don't know. But anyway, the food was pretty good. And, you know, we just chopped it up and I was telling her about social media. And then we ended up talking about my platform. And she was telling me about her um, uh, organization that she's working on with children. And we just had a good little talk. We just chopped it up or whatever. And then we ended up walking back to the hotel. And she saw some of her colleagues. And so I parted ways when I came into the room. So yeah, I um I got a lot of compliments on my little outfit and compliments on my nails, you know, my hair, and which was cool, you know. Um, so what I'm about to do? I think I'm about to just sit in this bed and chill. Um, but I kind of still want to chit chat with y'all. So, let me see how I'm going to set this up. I, I can put y'all by the bedside, I think. And we'll go from there. So, one sec. That guacamole, baby. That guacamole, baby. <coughs> Avocado ain't no joke, baby. Had to handle that. But anyway, um, so tomorrow... I'm seizing the day. Um, the the same lady I was telling you about, Tyler, she mentioned this place called the Red Rooster, I think. And it's supposed to be like a black folk type of place. But she said it's in Overtown. And I think that's probably like borderline the hood. But um, I'm going to check it out and see what it's about. I'm, I'm going to look it up and see what it's about, but they're supposed to be having like a, um, Afro beats type of event. And, but the sold out general admission is, I mean, the general admission is sold out. So to get in regular, uh, well, the next thing to, 
uh, the price to get in is $25. Um, so I'm gonna look into it to see what it's like. If it's supposed to be like a club, club type of thing, I'm probably not gonna go. But if it's kind of like giving lounge, they got food and drink and vibes and live music and all that kind of stuff, I might, I might see what's up. Um, definitely gonna go to. I'm either gonna order something or I'm gonna go cross this street to that little liquor store situation and see or see if there's a convenience store also in the area so I can get me like some bottled water get me a little sweet for the room and um then I gotta figure out what the ice machine is and then um some some cups and stuff like that so I can kind of chill in the room or whatever in the evening and then um Tomorrow morning, I'm going to get up. I'm going to look at my list, my itinerary to see if I can find a place for like brunch or breakfast or whatever. And it definitely won't be in this hotel for sure. But I'm going to go somewhere and sit and maybe like a rooftop if they have it. And just give me some nice food, some nice aesthetics, some nice content. And then... um then I'm gonna see like if I go to a museum and then after the museum depending on what time they open go to the museum and then after that maybe grab some lunch and then I'm gonna come back to the room and then that rare rooster thing is for, for Saturday but I'm gonna see what's popping for tomorrow and maybe um do some razzle dazzle to the face maybe i'll put my hair up i don't know like how let me see i don't even know if i'm gonna put it up in like a little top knot like a top bun situation something like this or maybe i'll put all of it up in a bun or maybe i'll do one of these numbers or something or maybe i'll just leave it down i don't know i got a lot of compliments on my hair and tyler was even asking me you know about what's my regimen and how long i have been growing my locks and sometimes when i tell people how long i've been on my lock journey it's still baffling to me like i never would have thought i would have had locks never but i couldn't be happier with my hair like my hair has really grown with me i started my lock journey eight years ago going on nine um very soon actually and i started my locks right before i left jacksonville florida and moved to atlanta and it's just been growing with me ever since and it just is a reminder of how far I've come, you know, of how far I have come. She was like, happy birthday. Hopefully I'll be able to hang with you before I leave. She lives here, but in a different area. But she came to stay over. She said she doesn't drive down this way and it was like a lot of traffic. So she just got a room for the conference and then um, she'll be she'll be back on, on her side her neck of the woods but yeah she was really nice very friendly and she was so like excited about and reminding me how brave i was to even make this decision to solo travel because you know it ain't for everybody um so you know that was encouraging and then, oh, this is what I wanted to tell y'all earlier. So, I have been investing in AirTags, right? And I already share my location right now with my niece. And I also share this at AirTag location. I bought one for my luggage. It's in my, in my suitcase right now. And so that they, if God forbid, they say that they can't find your luggage, they don't know where it's at, you know where it's at because it's in there. So... Helpful tip for those who may not have known. It was a helpful tip when I learned. 
you get they like $25 tags. I got mine off Amazon. And um if you I think it only work if you got an iPhone, so I think. But um I got my air tag, I put one in there, I put one in my carry-on book bag with my electronics, just in case, and then I put this on my person. This is on my bra strap. And so I said, well, God forbid I lose my phone or something happens with my phone. I have it hooked inside my bra like this. And that way, even if I'm not with my phone on my wallet or whatever, it's still on me. Um, or like if I put it like looped in in my, if I had like a, a ponytail or something, that a bun, I can like loop it inside of there somehow. But yeah, helpful tip for travel ladies traveling or whomever traveling so anyway i'm about to see what's on tv probably call my best friend let my family know i'm good check on my baby and then i'm gonna call it a night it's already at the 12 i think this thing done died but i think it's going on 12 or almost at the 12 but anyway i'll see y'all in the morning Bye.